Today we're going to talk about ICOs, STOs, TGEs, and Vegas. One of the most popular questions I get asked at Blockchain Rookies is exactly how much should I invest in cryptocurrency? And my standard answer, the three-day Vegas rule. How much would you spend on airfare, hotels, and at the roulette tables on a trip to Vegas, gambling your life away? Now there are some people that say, not me, I don't gamble. Other people say, 10,000 pounds? Count me in, I'm off for a weekend. At the end of the day, going to Vegas, you're gonna meet a whole lot of really crazy people. You're gonna have a whole lot of fun. You're probably gonna lose everything, but you might win big. And the same is true for the majority of ICOs, STOs, and TGEs. Oh yeah, acronyms, initial coin offerings, security token offerings, and token generation events. At the end of the day, when someone else asks you how much you invest in crypto, Tell them the answer is easy. It's the three-day Vegas rule. The second thing I want to talk about when it comes to Vegas is people say, I'm buying these tokens. What are these tokens? Look at it again from Vegas. What I tell them is you're buying a poker chip for a casino that hasn't been built by people that you don't know, who don't have a license to sell poker chips or to run a casino, and it's probably being built in a neighborhood that doesn't gamble and you're hoping you can sell that poker ship for more than you paid for it before the casino opens. Another example is when you talk about an ICO and someone says, ah, but ours are not securities, ours are utility tokens. What's a utility token? An example of a utility token in real life happens in America in a laundromat. When you go to a laundromat, you put a dollar bill into a machine on the wall and it spits out little tokens. And those tokens can only be used in the laundromat where you put the money in the wall. They can only be used on the washers and the dryers in that specific laundromat. A utility token through an ICO is very much in the same way. You're investing in buying tokens on a project that you will be able to use those tokens to operate that project at some point in the future. So the question is, when you buy an ICO token, has the laundromat been built or has it not been built? And who are the team behind the laundromat? Do they actually have a legitimate business model and can they actually build a laundromat? So here are three examples that I always tell people when I talk about ICOs, STOs, TGEs, and Vegas. One, how much should you invest? The three-day Vegas rule. Two, are you buying poker chips, hoping to sell them before the casino opens? Or three, are you buying tokens for a laundromat that may not even have been built? I'm Troy from Blockchain Rookies. This has been Blockchain Essentials. We've been talking about ICOs, STOs, TGEs, and Vegas. Thanks for watching.